one of the biggest questions I get about the app for documenting, for anybody who doesn't understand what I'm talking about, I built an app for documenting your family court battle so that you can make preparing for court easier, getting information to your lawyer easier, and the link for that is in my bio. But one of the biggest questions I get is, why don't you have a category in the app for narcissistic abuse, for coercive control, for manipulation, for gaslighting? There's a reason. If you've been following me long enough, you know that I'm child focused and I'm always challenging you to step out of your own shoes and into your child's shoes. All of those terms that I put out there are very focused on you versus the other parent. What is happening to you? While some of that stuff may be happening to your child as well, you're labeling it instead of describing. So when you're documenting, you always want to be talking about the co-parenting bucket and the parenting time bucket. Those two buckets are what the court can make decisions on. Of course, there's a financial bucket as well, but we don't talk about that here much. So when we're talking about coercive control, narcissistic abuse, all this kind of stuff, we need to like really put those labels aside and sort of start talking about what is happening. Describe the incident. Describe the incident and then put it in one of those two buckets. I want you guys, I'm going to challenge you guys to get away from these labels because you can say, well, there's coercive control, post-separation abuse, all of these labels, and you will lose the professionals because they need to understand exactly what's happening. They need to understand on a descriptive level what is happening. If you don't give them the incident and describe it without the analysis, they're going to gloss over perhaps, even if they are very with it and they get those labels and they know what they mean, they know how it negatively affects the child or the co-parenting relationship, they still need to understand the incidents and you still need to describe those things to them. If you just show up and start with all of this analysis, oh, it's course of control, it's this, it's that, you're actually taking away from their job, which is that. Their job is to decide and do the, an the analysis. Your job is to bring the symptoms of the problem to them. So I don't have those labels in the app on purpose. The labels, the categories that are in the app are carefully selected and carefully worded to be child focused. That's all. Happy documenting.